and uh, but bragg just threw back in his face and said you know no i'm not going to d c to testify for your committee and you do you do not have control over me you don't regulate me sorry that's you know you're federal i'm state i answer to the people of the city of new york or the the yeah the city of new york in fact he's not even state he's city he's the the district attorney for the city of new york and so Jim Jordan not getting his way, his you know not having succeeded in intimidating Alvin Bragg, has decided he's going to show up in his backyard. He's going to take, he's going to bring his circus to New York City next week, uh, April seventeenth, and he's going to be quote focusing on how Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg's pro crime anti victim policies have led to an increase in violent crime in a dangerous community for New York City residents. And I'm sure that they believe that crap over on Fox so-called news. But let's look at reality for a moment here. As Alvin Bragg pointed out, New York City does not even make the list of the 65 most dangerous cities in America. It is the biggest city in America, but it does not even make the list of the 65 most dangerous based on homicide rates. In fact, this is the list in 2019, the last data that we have. Um, uh, Jim Jordan's home state of Ohio. Dayton, Ohio was number five. Again, New York was not even on the list. New York City. Cleveland was number 10. Cincinnati was number 19. Akron was number 49. Toledo was 57. In Toledo, they have a murder rate of 12.43 people per 100,000 residents. In New York, it's 3.5 per 100,000. So Toledo has about, what, four, four to five times more, more murders than New York City? In fact, in 2020, New York State was one of the five lowest gun death states in the nation. You, you see this trend right across the board. Blue states with strong gun laws have low gun homicide rates. Red states with lax gun laws or no gun laws have very high gun homicide rates. It's the guns, stupid. The, the, the states with the five states with the highest uh, homicide death rates are Mississippi, Wyoming, Louisiana, Alaska, Missouri, and Alabama. None of them are New York. <laughs> These are the deadliest states to live in if you're concerned about being murdered with a gun. And yet Jim Jordan wants to go to New York City to focus on crime and violence. It doesn't get any weirder than that. I mean, it just tells you everything you need to know about Republicans. All righty, picking up your call.